hello welcome to my youtube channel so today i want to walk you guys on how to enable bookmark on selected visuals it's kind of like tricky when you have a lot of bookmarks uh, on one page and the others kind of like affect the other ones so in order to bypass this uh, uh issue you have to use the bookmark on selected visuals if you don't know how to use bookmarks i've created a complete video um they kind of like explain on how to use bookmark and create create an in-page um, navigation app um, i'm going to drop the link in the description below so just go ahead and watch this and learn how to create bookmark and upgrade your reporting uh, skills on this video we're going to focus on how to use bookmark on selected visual so if you look at this bookmark here, I have this first group that kind of show profit and product. And I have this other one here that shows uh, sales, sales, sales by product and also the gross. So if you notice something here, this first chart here is profit over time. But when I kind of like navigate one of this bookmark here, you can see that it changes to this side. It changes from profit by product, although it's still showing me that it is profit bookmark. But actually, it changes to this bookmark here, this particular one here. And you can see when I click on this one too, it kind of like affect this one. It shows gross sales over time, which is like this particular bookmark here, even though it's on sales. So you can see that the bookmarks are kind of like affecting each other. And this is not like a professional way of uh, representing um, your visuals. So I'm going to work you guys on how to do this from A to Z so be sure to sit and relax and watch this video to the end so i'm going to go to my views i'm going to bring out my selections as well as my bookmarks so here i have two bookmark groups i have the profit and i also have the sales so let's try to fix this particular these three that are here so what you should also understand is when you open each of these bookmark here you're going to see a feature down here called bookmark on selected video it is not just clicking this particular feature here that enable is what you really have to do is you have to select those particular bookmarks that are in the same group don't forget in the same group so if you look at this particular uh three bookmark here this sales profit and all of them they're in the same group they're in the sales group these three of these bookmarks here so let's start with the sales one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and select everything here let's make sure we are on sales page I'm gonna make I'm, I'm gonna come here and select everything here that it's in the same group with this sales bookmark so I'm gonna to come to that bookmark and I'll click click on these three dotted lines here and I'll enable the selected videos so when I enable that I'm gonna go ahead and update it why holding my control key down I'm gonna move to the next bookmark move to the next bookmark and, and you can see that the three are still selected and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enable the selected videos and I'll click on the Three dotted and i'll up, update it i'll move to the last one while holding my control key again then i'm going to do the same thing that i did for this tree and i'm going to update it so once you do this you you realize that whatever thing i do here is not going to affect this particular chart you can see that now i am moving uh round round uh between the pages of the bookmark and this page here does not change but this particular one here is still affected by this, by this particular one here it's kind of like switching this one this uh this th this side when i move each of this page here so i'm going to do the same thing that i did for this particular bookmark on this particular ones so this one said these are the two bookmark here profit by product and profit over time and i kind of put them in the same group which is like the profit gr uh, group so just the way i selected all the bookmark in the same group i'm going to select this particular two here just these two that are in the same group i'll select them that i want i want this particular selected video to only be affected on this selected videos here so i am on products profit by products i'm gonna go ahead and update the actual button for it so i'm gonna update this i'm gonna go to profit again and i'm going to go ahead and also update this from all videos selected videos and i will do that so once i do that you can see that no matter how i move these bookmarks uh back and forth they do not affect one another 
and you can see this one too moving moving there no matter how i move them they're not affect one another and it's kind of like a very professional way of showing your books max all in one page i hope this video helps you if it does go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please hit that subscribe button and be sure to share this video to someone that is going to help thank you for watching stay blessed